everybody, it's Ariel Warren, registered dietitian, nutritionist, certified diabetes care and education specialist, and I've also had type 1 diabetes for over 25 years. If you want to work with me, just visit my website and I do virtual coaching. So today I'm going to talk about how to correct using a syringe for a high blood sugar when you're on a closed loop insulin delivery system, such as a hybrid closed loop pump. So that's going to be your 670 or 770 Medtronic pumps or your Control IQ with the tandem pump. We'll also talk about how to do this with looping as well with Omnipod. The reason why it's important to change out a bad pump site when you are experiencing high blood sugar and you don't know why is because while using an insulin pump, you are using rapid acting or ultra rapid acting insulin and that is an insulin that has an insulin duration of three to five hours so you have a limited amount of time where that insulin is still in your system while using pins or mdi you're using a long acting insulin and you have coverage for longer so as soon as you see that stubborn blood sugar that won't come down after a correction then that's a good indicator hey let's investigate let's see why your blood sugar isn't coming down so a general rule you bolus for that correction using your pump there are no signs of your blood sugar starting to lower back to target blood sugar. You don't want to mess with this anymore. When in doubt, just change your pump site out because again, we have a smaller window when we're only using rapid acting insulin while using an insulin pump. So when you correct with a blood sugar that's going high, I don't recommend just changing your site because every once in a while you'll get two bad sites in a row. So you want to make sure that when your blood sugar is already high that we are using a very dependable source of getting that insulin into you. And so what I recommend is actually taking a syringe of insulin of your correction dose, but also changing out your site and possibly your site and everything, including the insulin, because sometimes insulin is bad as well. And so when in doubt, you know, obviously the first mechanism to change is your site, but if you've had maybe a couple sites in a row that are acting kind of funny or just not working very well, then I would say change everything out. Confusion set reservoir, but also your insulin. And you may not know, you may think, well, my insulin should be fine, but if maybe it got a little too hot, a little too cold, or maybe it's just a bad batch. So don't risk it. We just want to change it out if you feel like you're just not getting any control with your blood sugar. So. The reason why I like to take a syringe of insulin when my blood sugar has been high because I don't want to risk putting on another site that is bad and then dosing again and then being unsure if that dose is actually correcting that high. So I want to use a syringe where I can see the insulin going in and then I know, okay, I received that insulin, it's going to take some time. And if you feel like you've been without insulin for a while, check for ketones. If you don't have ketones, then that shows that you haven't been off of your insulin for very long. If you do have ketones, then you may actually need to take an additional dose of correction insulin. Be aware that you have had many hours that you haven't been receiving that basal. And so talk with your endocrinologist or your diabetes educator to determine how much of a correction dose you would need if you're in that scenario. So our blood sugar's been high. We are going to change our site and we're going to take a correction dose using a syringe. I would even say I would use a syringe over a pen. Sometimes with pens you also have leaking and so the most dependable way of getting your insulin is through the syringe. So when in doubt we change our site out, we take a correction using a syringe and then the next part is well what do we do when we're using a hybrid closed loop system? Well I have two different systems that will work for tubed pumps and then I have one system that will work for looping. So the first method is to actually do a, your correction dose with a syringe, but you're going to want to detach your tubing from your new site change, and then you're going to want to do a correction dose using your pump while in your control IQ or if you're in auto mode for Medtronic, and then you're going to have your pump deliver that correction dose, but because it's not attached to you, you're not receiving that dose. This is so that the pump won't double correct for you. Your blood sugar is high and it's going to increase your basal and depending on what system you're on, actually give you automatic correction boluses until you're back within target range. And so if that system happens and you have that correction dose from your shot, 
that's going to give you a double correction and cause you to go low. We don't want that. So my first method is just detach the tubing and give yourself that correction dose with your pump. And then once it's completed that correction dose, then you can reattach and we're all good. My second method is to give yourself that correction dose using a syringe, but to just go back into manual mode with your pump. So now your smart pump is becoming a dumb pump for about three to four hours, and then you should be cleared to go back into your hybrid closed loop system. So that's either control IQ using tandem or that's auto mode using your Medtronic pump. This will also And if you are looping with Omnipod, obviously off-label, then you obviously wouldn't be able to use the first method because there isn't a tube. You can't just take off your pod, let it deliver, and then put it back on. And so you could only use the second method, and that is take a syringe of your correction dose, but then go out of loop for three to four hours, and then you come back into your closed loop. So hopefully you're doing well. If you need help with your diabetes management, I do work as a dietitian with nutrition. I also help people with exercise and of course with diabetes. And so if you need help understanding how to use your pump, you need help understanding how to fine tune your settings, you can connect with me through my website. I will see you next time. You can subscribe for more videos and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.